Hello, mental health on call. Yeah, I don't know why I called here, but I didn't want to bother anyone else. I'm glad that you called. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what's going on? Oh, well, my wife died a couple of weeks ago, and, uh, well, I'm in a wheelchair, and I don't want to bother any of my adult children. You know, my wife did everything for me, and now she isn't here. I don't think I want to live anymore either. I'm just a bother here in my wheelchair and my oxygen tank. I can't even go to the grocery store for myself. I feel hopeless and weak. Mental health on call. I don't know what to do. It's my husband. He just locked himself in our bedroom and I think he has a gun. I'm so glad you called. Was your husband upset this evening? Can you tell me a little bit about what happened before he locked himself in his room? By the way, while we talk, I'm going to consult with the local law enforcement to see how they can support us in this situation. Is your husband responsive to you when you speak to him through the door? Hello, mental health on call. Um, hi. I don't really know what to do. Well, that's okay. I'm here to listen. Do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're going through right now? Well, I'm having another really bad night. Mm. Well, what made your night bad? Well, I don't know. I just sometimes feel like I don't want to be here anymore. It's so hard to be at home. I am so sorry that your wife passed away. I can't imagine how sad you are, but you are not weak. In fact, there is strength in reaching out. Oh, no. No one cares about an old guy like me. You can just let me be. Would you be willing to let me help you and take you to Willow Memorial Hospital to get checked out? I can also bring you some groceries. Would that be all right? He's really not responding at all, but I can hear him moving around in there. Also, he's been really upset lately. He lost his job last week that he's had for 10 years. Things weren't going well between us, so I went to stay with a friend for a while. When I came home tonight to check on him, I noticed that a bunch of his stuff was gone like he's getting rid of his things. It sounds like you both are going through a lot. Our local law enforcement is on standby if they need to come, but they will not come by unless I ask them to. Oh, I see. Well, that must feel pretty bad. Well, would you mind telling me a little bit more about why it's hard being at home? It's my parents, I guess. They drink sometimes and then they're mean to me. It's been happening for so long and I just want to make it stop. My mom has these pills that I found. I was kind of thinking about taking them tonight, but then I remembered this number to call. Well, I'm glad that you called. Well, do you have a friend or family member that could come and spend the night with you? So then that way you're not home alone? I feel worried about you being home alone right now. I'm also happy to stay on the phone with you for as long as you need. Well, okay. I think that would be good. I could really use the help. I didn't know what I was going to do before I called you today. I was feeling pretty hopeless. I care about you, and I would really like to come help you. I can be there in about 10 minutes, and we can go to the hospital together, and I can bring you some food. I'm here to stay on the phone for as long as it takes to get you and your husband feeling better tonight. Will you gently knock on the door to see if he's willing to talk to me on the phone? Please tell him that I'm here to listen. OK. He said that he'd talk to you. I'm gonna hand him the phone. I am so relieved. Thank you so much for helping us tonight. Well, I'm so glad you called. We're always here to listen. Yeah, I have a friend who I can invite over. I think I would also really like if we could stay on the phone and talk for a while. I felt really scared tonight until I started talking to you. Well, it took a lot of courage to make this call and reach out. You did a great job. <laughs>